Yo, guys, how's it going? My weekend has been pretty uneventful, but I'm stressing because I got work tomorrow with a bunch of shit that I don't want to deal with, so kind of uh, want to stream to get some distraction. <laughs> yeah, that, and with it being the Super Bowl, man, everybody that I normally watch on Sundays offline and shit, so kind of bored. Um, but tonight, hmm, that music's just touched loud. Tonight, we've got a brand new game. Um, actually, two new games, because I think we're going to beat them back to back. Um, they're short. They're not JRPG, strictly. Um, what we're going to be playing, um, I was actually looking at playing Wanderers from Ease on SNES, the third one. Um, but man, it's really dated. And... I don't know. It's just kind of hard to stomach. So I got to looking around and I found that they have remade nice, really nice remasters of uh, Ease, or actually more like remakes of Ease 1 and 2, which I've never played. And they've got kind of the same mechanics as, say, Dragon View. So um, a lot of people haven't heard of the Ease games. You spell it like this if you want to look it up. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to get into. So let's jump over to that. And this game may be a little hard on me to play um, and type in chat because it pauses. Or if anytime I click away from it, it pauses the game. So if it ever stops making music or whatever, that's probably what's up. Seen it, but never played it. Um, I played the third one on SNES and it was okay. I mean, for what it was. And then um, I played one on GameCube, I think. Like, a, I think it was Ease, um, the Ark of Nepishtim or some shit like that. And I actually really enjoyed that game too. Actually, it's a hair loud. Anyway, let's, uh, let's hop into it. We're going to be playing this on normal. And this remake set is Ease 1 and 2. So we're going to play this for a little bit. Hopefully it won't take too long to get through both of these. And then we can fire up another RPG or some shit. Depending on what you guys want to do. Another, another thing too is this game is super, super, super light on dialogue. So <clears throat> give my voice a break. So what are you guys up to? Dodging the Super Bowl? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Cracking on some homework. Yeah, it never ends, man. You'll eventually get to a uh, job and they'll make you get more certs just because they want them. Been super tired today, so I have to call an early night. Ah, well, maybe you'll get to enjoy this for a bit. Give you something to do. <laughs> So even this remake seems a little dated because it's a remake of a remake. Of maybe a remake. I'm not sure. Hey, Fiona. Chilling, watching some guy play anime games. <clears throat> I know that feel.
Apparently this series just had a new game come out like on PS4 like a week ago. US release. But um I don't know. It was so far down the anime rabbit hole that I'd have to wear fucking rabbit ears or some shit to play it. Oh, Nanner. You'll be pleased to know that I put in the request to swap in it, swap Brig Love for Brig Pog, but now it has to be pending, so here in a couple days you'll have those emotes back. Jesus Christ, hell of an opening. Um, I think maybe Nanner, um, you probably want to talk to Crystal. Just to see what she's got going on. I'm always at home, so. But she's the one that's all over the place. Hey, Abby. So one other thing about this game too, you notice that it's got the the golden border around it and the stats down at the bottom. This is the 4-3 ratio mode, which fits in my retro template. They did have an option to play 16 by 9 so the entire game fills up the screen, but then you got my camera on top of it. So I went ahead and went with this just so you guys get the entire game. Dr. Bluto, ah, good, you're awake. Don't strain yourself now. Your body is covered in bruises. So, you still hurting anywhere? Adol. I don't know if it's Adol or Adol. Adol checked himself over. There was some pain, but nothing debilitating. Get some rest. You're in a clinic at Barbado Port. Yeah, Abby, this is a uh, PC port. Or, well, I don't even know if it's a PC port. Ease 1 and 2 are, like, ancient. These are remakes. Um, and I think it got remade for either PSP, maybe. And then they ported that over to um, PC, maybe. So, it, it's a mess. Slaff. Hey, Dad, is the stranger awake yet? Ah, Slaff, you're early. How did the meeting go? Same as always, no real progress. Well, the patient's only just awoken. Glad to see you back among the living. Ah yes, where are my manners? My name is Budo. I own and operate this clinic. Play this on a <laughs> TurboGrafx-16 emulator? Damn. This is my son, Slaff. He found you collapsed on the beach and brought you here. I've never played Ease 1 and 2, Abby. I beat 3 on SNES. Way back when. We drove off the rabel that attacked you. It was a real close call. Adol told Slaff his name and expressed his gratitude. Adol, eh? Good name. Don't recognize you, though. Where are you from? Adol explained that he journeyed from Promalok to Asteria by boat. My word, you came from overseas? Amazing. You're the first man I know of to get past the storm wall. What do you two think you're doing? Uh-oh, here she comes. Watch out, boy. She'll chew you up. Chew you up, Sly, if you keep making comments like that. The man's wounded, you know. Shouldn't you leave him be? He needs his rest. It's my Ayla. Always keeping us in check. You make a good point, my dear. Yeah, okay, I'll stop talking his ear off. Rest up, Adol, but know this, I'm not done with you yet. Is he threatening me? <clears throat> Under the clinic's care, Adol recovered quickly. Several days later. So I don't know 
Oh, that's cool. It kind of shows you behind objects. That's neat. Good morning, Adol. You seem to be in tip-top shape now. Still, you should probably take it easy for a bit, just in case. Well, I suppose a walk around town could do you some good. Just don't overexert yourself. For a boy your age to have slept so soundly, you must have quite a story to tell. Adol, the portside warehouse has become home base for the town's militia. Slaff should be there. He can answer any questions you might have. Just be careful not to do too much too soon. Waifus! Listen, Adol. There are monsters outside town, so don't push your luck, okay? Ah, okay. Well now, see you're the young man that Dr. Blue has been looking after. Okay, dude. Slaff's working hard to keep the town safe, but in the end, he may just be kidding himself. Rather than live in fear of a monster attack, wouldn't it be better for everyone in Barbado to move to Mania? Okay. Is there music? What do you mean, Nanner? Can you not hear it? What? You can hear the text sound, but you can't hear the music? Can anybody else hear the music? Turn your shit up, Nanner. Here, I'll turn it up just a touch. I mean, it shows it to be playing, just like any other game. <laughs> well, if it isn't at all, you you okay to be moving around like that? Every time I stopped by, you were sound asleep. You must have been exhausted. So, heard any murmurings overseas about Hysteria? I'd love to know what people are saying about us. Adol told Slaff he'd heard the land was cursed. Cursed, huh? It's not really true, but it's also not too far off. Guess we can't count on any support from the outside. If they think we're cursed over here, we've got to take action. Anyway, I don't know a whole lot, but I'll gladly answer any questions I can. Ask away. Okay, Barbado. Only port town on Asteria. Okay. I don't need the hot lore, dude. Just give me the fucking... <clears throat> Small island country. Blah, 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 blah. Got a lot of noise going on around you. Ah, okay. It appeared, let's see, about six months or so ago. The first storm started on a night when some trade, tri trade ships carrying silver set out from Barbado. Buffeted by the storm, the ships were obliterated, washed ashore on Whitehorn Beach the next morning. We first thought it was an isolated incident, but the same fate's been met by every other ship since. That's how the storm wall got its start, and now we Asterians are pretty much trapped here. Most people have just kind of resigned themselves to their fate, but me, I'm too stubborn for that. Alright, the militia. When the storm wall appeared, monsters came with it. That's what attacked you the day on the beach. We call that particular species Rabel. Monsters first appeared on the road up to the mountain, but they began attacking villages soon after. 
Barbado in particular was hit pretty badly. Mania seemed just as vulnerable, but they've got that wall around them, so they're much more secure. Zepic was spared too, somehow. Supposedly kept the monsters out in some kind of with some kind of mystical bell. We have nothing of the sort here, though, so we have to take up arms and defend the town ourselves. Okay. Alright, so I guess he doesn't have anything for me. Yeah, so the control system on this game is a little weird in that I just walk up to people and they start talking. It's more like a bump. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be that way for attacking and stuff. The fuck is this? Okay. Armory. Locked. Fuck off. I want some... I want some gear. Blue-headed demons we gotta watch out for, okay? Bump system. Adol's attacks. Adol attacks enemies by running into them. His sword is swung automatically without pressing any keys or buttons. The success of his attack is determined by his trajectory and/or angle of impact. A head-on strike will likely cause Adol to take damage, but if the enemy is struck off center or from an odd angle, attacks will prove successful. Oh, huh, that's interesting. Enemies could also be struck, struck from behind or from the side with little risk of resistance. Though this technique can backfire if Adol is pitted against the enemy with a large amount of health, since it will quickly turn to face its attacker. So don't attack head on, attack off center. I don't think I even have a sword. I don't. Man, that music was fucking baller there for a second. So, I don't think I missed any buildings, did I? Did I go in here? Oh, no, I didn't. Maybe I need to go back to the doctor hut just to see if Slap is well on his way to making the town's militia force to be reckoned with okay alright I'm lost from the very start where in the fuck do I go Kick a dog around a little bit. I've been in here. Let's go talk to this Slaff guy again.
Well, fuck, maybe I do need to go outside and just get my ass whooped. Let's see, I think I can save. All right. Ooh, I'm barely doing anything, this guy. Interesting. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? What the fuck? Oh, okay. Oh, no, he's fucking my shit up. Go back. Go heal, Brig. I guess that was the blue-headed demon they were talking about, huh? Need healing. What the heck happened to you? Didn't I keep telling you to rest? Miss Ayla, please take the reins on this one, if you would. Yes, doctor. Ministering, antidote, medicating, empty and blood bucket, reviving, second attempt. There we go. Bandaging. Stung so badly to bring Adol as to bring Adol to tears. If you can put up with all that, that proves to me you've got some spunk. Hmm. Oh my god. Alia's up in here with the 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 titty cakes. How you doing tonight, Alia? I only stopped by for a minute the other day. I didn't have that much time, but that that thing you guys were doing where you were <laughs> fucking drawing and trying to guess what it was was pretty funny looking. I can't remember the name of it now. I think the last one I saw was somebody drew an, uh, a porcupine, maybe? With a really horrible, horrible head. <laughs> yeah. So the way it's talking, it makes me think I need to just try to make it to this Mania place. Old man near the gate. Oh, okay. All right, if this guy has nothing for me after I talk to him a second time. There's a fortune teller who lives in Mania to the north. She predicted the storm wall, the monsters, everything. If there's something you need to know, you should go visit her. She'll answer every question you could possibly have. Once you're feeling up to it, that is, don't want your wounds reopening after all. Okay, so now we know that we can talk to people twice and get a different fucking response. Yeah, I'm gonna try it really quickly. We'll save. So it seems like 
it's not too hard to dodge enemies if you want. West, Mania Gate, South, Barbado Port. Well, I'm seeing other NPCs, so. Progress. Mystery, are you a swordsman? Well, the fortune teller lady has been looking for a traveling swordsman. Please go and see her. I saw Pim pick a ring off the ground the other day. Right after that, he went straight to his store and put it on the shelf. What kind of lowlife would just sell something he finds like that? Hmm. Sound like a ring for me. My father is the mayor of Zepic Village to the north. Lately, he's been a little preoccupied with something, though. Last time I saw him, he was all like, the villagers mustn't hear of this. Please, if you go to Zepic Village, would you talk to him for me? Uh, you must not go to the mine. The monsters there are extremely powerful. He'll be killed for certain. It's fortunate for us that they never venture outside. Where it is, they can't stand daylight. Before the monsters showed up, we used to always play under the huge tree in the plains. We can't do that now. Okay. Pim's Pawn. Okay. Speak shopkeeper. Hmm, red hair is rare around here. You're not from around these parts, are you? I'm from the mainland myself, but I got trapped on this lousy island by the storm wall. I think I can cut you a good deal since you're a fellow foreigner. <laughs> I bet. Sapphire Ring. Thousand gold. Fuck off. What's the mirror? Freeze monsters in time. Wing. Warp you back to town from anywhere in the land. 200 gold. I will hold off on that for now. God damn it, I didn't mean to click that. Where you at, fortune teller bitch? I didn't mean to bump into you. Uh, this looks like fortune teller. Oh my, it's you. You're not from Asteria, correct? Did you come here by crossing the storm wall? Goddesses, thank you. I've waited so long for this day. Waifu alert. Got her familiar out front. <laughs> You're the one whom I've been seeking. Please get your equipment in order, then return here at once. I must beg a favor of you. Ah, oh, she's gonna make me gear up before this. All right. Where's the armor store at? Ah, now we're talking. Hi, welcome. You have to be careful when fighting monsters. Never approach them head on. That's suicide. If you strike from the side or the back, even the toughest enemy can be taken down easily. So we got a short sword. How much is a long sword? 2000 okay so pretty obvious they're kind of sticking me with the beginner shit what the fuck are you talking about Abby <laughs> porn star that's living in the sewers Offense is a great luxury, but defense is an absolute necessity. As such, proper armor is vital. They say the best defense. 
Okay, shut up, dude. God damn. What's reflex? Oh, okay, cancel. Small shield. 700 gold? Well, I guess I'm not getting a fucking shield. Drugs? <laughs> Alright, we got our... <sighs> How did this slip through QA? I want to know. At all. Is sprouting a fucking like 10 inch dick right here. How did this make it through QC? <laughs> it looks even worse when you step with <laughs> Okay, this way doesn't isn't as bad, but this way. Please purchase and equip a sword, armor, and shield, then return to this house. Fuck! I gotta go get a buttload of fucking gold if I want a fucking shield. I wonder what the enemies this way look like. Try bump attack for the first time. Oh yeah, that's way better. Much better. Ah, he wasn't that bad. This fucking, this combat system is weird as fuck. It's going to take me a goddamn eternity to get 700 gold. God damn it. I guess that's what I get for playing such a retro fucking remake, though. Did it... Did you guys see anything about selling something? I can't help but feel like this is... Buy shield. I 
Hmm. So I don't see any kind of sell option. Maybe a hint I can pick up and sell shit. Hey, there is the pawn, uh, pawn shop guy, huh? Sell. <laughs> you don't have a single thing I'd want to purchase. <laughs> Fuck. I am Rhea. Five foot alert. The poet and troubadour. My price of silver harmonica has been stolen. I don't know what to do. I value it nearly as much as my own life. Silver harmonica. Really? So I wonder if we need to find her harmonica really quickly. Maybe she'll give us a boatload of money. Or something else. Dr. Klaus. Okay. I need healing. 50 gold, fuck! Oh wait, I'm healed up. Oh, so this game has some kind of region mechanism. Thank Christ. For that price. Silver Harmonica, where are you? Did you steal it? This old bitch stole it. Really sculpted, scrumptious looking man. <laughs> Who put Nanner in this game? That sounded like something Nanner would say. I found this man that looked like a snack. You a thief. Let's go talk to the pawn shop guy just to see if he has anything to say about this silver harmonica. Hang them out to dry. I would say this guy's the thief. Well, I guess we're gonna have to fucking farm some gold, y'all. Ouch. Strange ass fucking system. Well, it's certainly a way I've never fought in a video game before. So do you region faster inside of a town? 
Yes, way faster. Way faster. Nice. So we'll just save here. Oh, oh, you got me. I love how the heads go flying. <laughs> What? Okay. So somehow he got my ass a little bit there. Hey, Ricky. How's it going, man? Uh, we're having to. It won't let us progress in the game until we buy a shield, and I need 700 gold to get it. <clears throat> so, I don't know how long you've been watching, Ricky, but the combat in this game is... It, it's bump. I'm literally only using my D-pad to fight. And if you hit the enemy straight on, they'll attack you, but if you hit them from the side, slightly off, it will uh, work out in your favor. God damn it. <laughs> Brioc. How's it going, man? Thanks for the raid. How is Final Fantasy VII Remake going for you? Pretty good. Let me do this if I can remember how. Yeah, there we go. Going pretty well. Hit chapter 10. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen him before, go check him out and throw him a follow. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed the remake. Um been tempted to play it again blind first time have you ever played Final Fantasy 7 original comes out on PC in April maybe yeah, I played the original. Okay, then. Yeah, it's um, it's interesting. Yeah, the remake pretty much covers disc one. I think you change disc once you leave Megar, isn't it, on the original? Oh, you don't? Okay, getting a little low. Let's go back to town and heal. <clears throat> yeah, it's a... Uh, I, I've, I've watched a few other streamers play it and just really hate on Remake. God, he really beat my ass. But um, I think if you're playing it as somebody that played the original... You just kind of enjoy, enjoy it. It's more like a, uh, I don't know, fan service sort of thing to me. <laughs> Level up. All right, we're about to 700 gold. If this is, I, I kind of like that the game forces me to get my equipment, and I know it's a little bit of a grind, but it's ensuring that I know how the battle system works before I press any further into the game, which is pretty cool.
All right, let's go get that shield. Yeah, the combat's pretty interesting too. I, I well, you you're going in blind, so I don't want to say too much. I, I'm really curious to see where they go with it on the next game, and I hope it's not too far out. <laughs> Give me that small shield. Hey, Recky, so you know how we were talking about all the things in Skoden 2 that made it out of QC? This game has something too. Can you spot the thing that made it past QC? I mean, can you see it? Need a PS5 for part two. Yeah, I, I don't want to comment on that, dude, and spoil something for you. Once you beat it, come back and we'll have that discussion. <laughs> yeah, Recky, the sword looks like a dick, is what I'm saying. A big floppy dick. Uh, literally just started it like 40 minutes ago or so. Um, I played the, the third Ease game on SNES a long time ago. And that's what we were going to fire up, but I saw these and thought I'd give them a shot. I just beat Skoden 2 and my, my throat is shot from all the narration and anime waifu shit. So we needed something that was kind of hack and slash for... A little bit of a separator. Then we'll probably jump back on another JRPG. Swordsman, thank you for returning. Tell me, are you familiar with the books of Ease? No, I'm not. Ease was the name of an ancient kingdom that existed here ages ago. The lost history of the land is written within the books of Ease. It is unknown, however, who actually inscribed their words. But the six books detail the reason for Ease's fall from grace. My crystal ball tells me that one of the books is in the mountain shrine. Swordsman, will you seek the books? I don't know what's in it for me, but yeah, I guess. You will? Ah, Swordsman, you are truly the man I've been seeking. Thank you so very, very much. Please, take this with you. It will show you the way within the shrine. Sarah's crystal. Okay. First, please visit Jebba in the village of Zepic. She is my aunt. She knows a great deal about the history of Ease. I am certain she will be of aid to you. Zepic village is to the northeast, just outside Mania. You'll pass through it on the way to the shrine. Okay, northeast. So, man... I'm almost tempted to fucking grind for that fucking ring. Because in this game, this is one of those games where rings do shit. Like fucking spells. But I'm not going to. Man, am I one-shotting these guys now? What happened? Is that from leveling up? Jesus. Yeah, he barely hurts me now, too. I kind of dig this battle system. It's pretty chill. I only got to use the D-pad. You know, once I hit, like, max level and get all pimped out and shit and start getting off on my own character, I can just play one-handed. It's fucking great. Gonna need to get a PS5 for Remake Part 2 and uh, 16. I'm not dropping any frames, Rick.
out of here, dog. You too. You too. What is it, Recky? It doesn't show me to be dropping any frames, Recky. I don't know what your internet is. Refresh page and it's working again. You may have jumped onto a different Twitch server or something. Weird ass fucking little bridge. Oh, this is back at Mania. <laughs> Whacked his ass on the way out. Uh, I'll get over this in a minute, you guys, I, I swear. But for now, this bump system's pretty fun. <laughs> So, Zephic Village is east of here, huh? So, it's north. You bastard. Got a hit in on me. All right, we gotta find Jeppa, Old Man Lahan. Oh man, that's the name of the first village in Xenogears. Makes me wonder if that's Chance or maybe a shout out to Ease. When I was young, I used to archive historical documents. One of them tells of two goddesses who saved the country from a great cataclysm. If such goddesses truly existed, we wouldn't have to live in fear of those cursed monsters. Give me that axe. Fuck some dudes up with that. Iris. When I woke up this morning, my husband, Luta, was gone. He was probably sleepwalking again. Where on earth could he be this time? Ma'am, I have bad news. Luta's disappeared again. He can be so thoughtless sometimes. His lovely wife is quite worried about him. I wish I had a cute girlfriend who'd worry about me. Well, hey, dude, the, the fucking chick's husband's gone. Don't make this about you. Jesus. The mayor's acting quite suspect. He keeps wandering around the village, muttering something under his breath. Something about giving the thieves everything he owns and hoping that's enough. What's that all about? Oh, young man, where did you come from? Ah, from Barbado. Or, you know Dr. Bluto then? Good, good. I have something to tell you, but you must promise me you will not let the villagers know about it. <laughs> I've said one line to you, and I want to trust you with the secret. Will you keep this conversation between us? Yeah, I guess. This village's charm of protection, the silver bell, has been stolen by thieves. I desperately wish to get it back. If worse comes to worse, I'll pay any price the thieves may ask. Will you negotiate with them on my behalf? I'd ask the villagers, but they simply mustn't know of this. How will you respond? Yes, I will. You'll do it? Thank you so much. The thieves' den is north of the village on the mountain road. If you meet their leader, please tell him I'll pay whatever price he asks for the bell. I'm counting on you, young sir. I'm going to beat his ass and take the bell and you pay me. Old man Cronin. Back in the, my mining days, I once came across an old chamber filled with light, and therein I saw the most beautiful statues of two goddesses. It felt sacred, like I was looking on the guardian spirits of the mine. Since then, we miners have been praying every day. One day, one of the goddess statues just disappeared without a trace. All it took, we all took that to be an omen, but what does it mean?
Okay, where is that Jeppa chick? Her aunt Jeppa. That's the mayor again. Granny Edna, or Edda. Two great trees. Okay. Adel's got her in the corner. He's going after her. You sick bastard. No. <laughs> I, I can't unsee it, dude. Every time I turn left, I'm seeing that shit. <laughs> oh, wow. They let you walk through the fucking force in this game. Kind of cool. Is this the mayor's house again? Ah, oh, I bet this is her. Jeba. Okay. Sarah's crystal. I see. So you're the swordsman Sarah has been seeking all this time. You intend to find the book of ease within the shrine, do you? I believe you'll be needing this key then. Glad I hunted her ass down. The ruins atop the mountain were once known as Solomon Shrine. If one of the Books of Ease is there, it will no doubt be somewhere in the Shrine's lower levels. The entrance to the lower levels is well hidden, but that crystal will show you the way. Virtually anything may await you in there. However... Oh, virtually anything may await you in there, however. Make certain you're well prepared before you go. So about the only thing I could prep with would be like healing items or some shit, but I say we fucking truck it. Maybe we need to save first. Alright, you blue bastard. Ah, uh, you weren't that bad. Cha cha. I can go this way. Thieves Den. Wonder if I should do this first. If I could, let's go in there. Oh, we got some cold mo freakers here. Chest is empty. The only game you played that had bump combat was Half Minute Hero. I've never even heard of that game. What will you do? Talk to the boss? Negotiate? Let's talk to the boss. You're either brave or stupid, kid. Why have you come here? Don't tell me you actually came here to hunt us down all by yourself. Huh? Who told you that we stole the Silver Bell? I'm afraid you're misinformed. We know how important the Silver Bell is to the people of Zepic. Stealing that would break the villagers' hearts, and that's something we would never do. Believe whatever you like, but I'm telling you, we had nothing to do with it. Really is honor among thieves, what? We only steal from those who make their money by the blood and sweat of honest workers. If it's stolen silver you're after, look around you. Not a trace of it here. All of ours was stolen too. If we ever find the culprit, he's going to pay dearly. You can be sure of that. Okay. Adol pushed against the door, but it did not budge, nor did there seem to be any keyhole. Okay, so something tells me I need to go back and talk to the mayor. Okay, just to make sure there's nothing there. 
You're free to doubt us, but that doesn't change the fact that we're innocent. Okay, I guess that was it. Darm Tower is swarming with, swarming with monsters. Some are even equipped with swords and armor. It's sickening. If I were to go in there, I think I'd probably just let muscle impulses take over and try not to think. Ooh, that reminds me. I never equipped my fucking shield. <laughs> Where do I use shield? Oh, so we gotta equip this shit. That damn bandit keeps turning up in the weirdest places. Hysteria is not a big country. There are only so many places one can hide. So why the hell is he so hard to catch? All right, so I think we got what we need to go talk to the mayor. Bitch, I got moves. I'll circle around and stab ya. Be like Dark Souls up in this. Drecky knows what I'm talking about. What's he got to say? Do you mean to tell me it wasn't the thieves? They're not the ones who stole the silver bell? How am I supposed to believe that? Who else would do such a thing? I suppose there was that man in the black cape whom several villagers saw on the mountain road. What happened to my other emotes? Um, I swapped Brig Love and Brig Pog for Nanner because she is like the only one that has them unlocked. And that's what she wanted. So, am I... Tell me if you guys noticed this. We got... This guy doesn't have a silver bell. The other chick in the other town doesn't have a silver har harmonica was stolen. The thieves have lost all their silver as well. So is somebody stealing it or has all silver disappeared, disappeared from the land? Is what I'm starting to wonder. Suppose there was that man in the black cape whom several villagers saw on the mountain road. So either everybody or somebody is stealing all silver or it's just disappeared and everybody thinks it's being stolen. Man, the music in this game is pretty good so far. Alright, nice. I just walk into things. And it just fucking works. I don't have to hit my button, I think. Locked. Will shrine key work on that? Nope. Oh, this is cool. Or if that stays up permanently. The heart of the crystal shines like a star in the night sky. So square is what activates items. Or at least gives me a description about them. Yeah, music on this game has been unexpectedly good. Like they... I don't know if they intended that or that they just bought some stock music that happened to be really, really good. Ruby has been attained, obtained. Condition is virtually flawless. Pretty valuable. I bet I sell this for money.
these games have some good music well maybe this is just a good remix then I like not that's a cool little detail that one little spot of grass is growing under that light it's kind of cool I'd all use the shrine key so to go away no I still got it Ooh, ooh! I thought it was in a cutscene. Okay, how in the fuck? Can I stand here without getting hurt? No. How does this work? How far back am I? I just want to see if I'm still... Okay, so I do need to talk to these guys again. I'll just blaze through it really quickly. God damn it. So you guys, I'll try to remember, but remind me to fucking save. It'll only take me a second to get right back where it's at, but I didn't even think about it. You have to stand still to region two, it looks like. All right, save. So I don't know what to do in that fight because it's like I could only really go to the center of the the flames. You know what I mean? I hope it lets me save right here. Sweet. <laughs> Feeling kind of big dumb right now Because I'm barely hurting him
I was wanting to see if there's a way I could dodge or not get hit right there. Or it'd be better to stand up top. Can I destroy the flame shooters? Let's see. No. It doesn't appear to be the case. And I can't use any items. Man, this is fucking brutal if this is how they... It seems to be the case, Ricky. Yeah, I could get another level, but... I would really like to know if... I'm even doing this the legitimate way. Or if I'm missing a big mechanic in this game. Because there's no other buttons besides the D-pad right now. Fuck. I'm doing it right. Okay, we'll go romp around with these dudes out here for a minute. So I can't open this yet. So it's just got the, the old game hardness, huh? the ring no but I can afford it now maybe I should go back and get it really quickly huh, while I'm leveling so the HP regions like super fast if I just stand still, it's not just that I'm in a town. the level. That was a significant HP boost too. Hey, here's one of these big trees they were talking about. It's interesting. Locked. Oh yeah, Rick. <laughs> One thing I did see somebody mention about this game, they said at least the first game, I think, was that you level cap within like 
a third of the way in to the game. After that, you're all you're doing everything at max level. Don't know if that's intentional or potion. Did that that chest look like it was fucking open? Gives insight on defeated enemies. Oh fuck. Should I not have done that? Or maybe that was just activating it. Ah, I think I learned this ability now. Cool. I wonder if that's permanent. Alright, I think I remember where I'm at now. It doesn't seem to be wearing off or... Hopefully this game won't be like fucking insane difficulty levels. I want to actually enjoy it, but. God damn it, the fucking pawn shop. Or wait, no. Wait, that was in the next town, wasn't it? God damn it. For some reason I was thinking this first town in the game. You didn't miss much, Recky. Literally, they told me I'd been hurt and they healed me up and said, uh, you know, maybe you should go to the next town. And you've seen that, so. Sapphire Ring. Alright, what is this shit? Sapphire encrusted ring inscribed with a message from its giver. The words from Donis with love are inscribed on the inner edge of the ring. Have we seen a Donis? It said this guy just picked it up off the fucking ground. No, they got me pinned. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I haven't either, Nanner. Oh wait, did he say Donis? A one-eyed man named Donis. Is damn fool, he's down and out right now, so he's been neglecting his work. He's run off somewhere. Okay. talk to this bitch one more time. I just want to see if she says anything different now. Nope.
Did you get your harmonica back? No. I could, Ricky, but I think they're significantly more expensive. I bet you're right. I bet one level will really help me out here. We're going to find out. I was just hoping to run into this Donis guy. We never did go down this way. Hmm. way yeah I appreciate the fucking run speed in this game it's very nice Oh, hey, yeah, Nanner. <laughs> no fucking wasting time. Yeah, I'm going to, Rick. Here we go again. Not much better. Man, I feel like I'm missing something. I don't need a goddamn weapon, Ricky. I'm a gamer. I need the fucking... I, I need the focus. Ooh, I could have got your ass, bitch. Ooh, I could have got it. See, he's fucking tempting me here. Could have doubled up on him right then. <sighs> I could get the next weapon up, Fiona, but it would cost me like two or three thousand gold, so I'd have to be grinding all night. So I'm giving you guys some excitement instead. God. Man, they tempt me to jump out into it. It's all a fucking timing game. Ah, I went for the double and fucking got paid. Or <laughs> cost me. It cost me. Double's not worth it. The greed. Come on. Oh no. No, don't kill me, don't kill me. <laughs> 
This is the ultimate greed check. That's all this is, is a greed check. How fucking patient are you? But you gotta admit, Ricky, it's got better music. <laughs> no. Oh Lord, baby Jesus, help me. Ah, oh, fuck off. No, no, no. Am I gonna have to grind another level? God damn it. Did he take longer to appear that time? This boss is fucking evil, man. <laughs> I'm gonna die. We all know I'm gonna fucking die. Did he just hurt me then? Because I hit him straight on. Man. Just fucking kill me, god damn it. <laughs> Fuck. I'm like level three, Nanner. I'll take out my fucking frustration on these guys. See, they're giving me how much experience? Oh, that's how much experience I have until next level, huh? So these guys are giving me eight. Those guys give me two. How much do these fucking dogs give me? Alright, there's not enough dog to fuck this shit. We're gonna go kill the blue dudes. Can't believe this shit. Grinding in this day and age. I know, Ricky. I'm just... Just being dramatic, man. Need to find a good route. Let's 
seems like hovering around up here ain't bad. Oh man, I was kind of hoping there was a three pack right here I could keep this bouncing between. Actually, I think there might be. They've got the spacing just right. Getting close to be able to get the weapon upgrade. For 2k. Cranky. I'm thinking about going through this whole goddamn game with a short sword. Nah, fuck that shit. Let's go get the fucking next weapon. <laughs> Maybe we'll get the level on the way. Cracking you up, Nanner. But Recky, this is bump combat. It's different. Hey, Grave Dolly. How are you tonight? Welcome to the Super Bowl Refuge. Yeah, Recky, the bump combat feels like I'm basically just humping them to death. The fuck are you? Was that an enemy? Or did I just kill some innocent creature? Is he an enemy? <laughs> this character only has one speed of bump, and that is explosion. Pretty good. How about y'all? Yeah, I didn't watch football. Drunk neighbors do though. Yeah, we're doing good. We're just uh I normally don't stream on Sunday, but um I was bored. Nobody I'm used to watching is on, so we decided to give it a shot. Alright, what you got, bud? So there's the Talwar. And he doesn't have it in stock. My shipment washed ashore, I hear. So uh, so they just won't let you buy that immediately, it sounds like. Give me that shit. Alright. Yeah, might as well save. So 10 more attack, Recky, that's it. But Oh, wait a minute. I gotta equip my shield again. I wonder if that will help me with the fire. Tried streaming for the first time yesterday, went ahead and bought an Ethernet cable today, installing tomorrow and see if it helps the poor computer. There's a lot to learn with it, Grave Dolly. But, um... Yeah, if you're just getting into it for the first time, I would get on YouTube and look up, um, crap, what's his name? Paris Heller. Um, Alpha Gaming, I think. Has a lot of good videos on a lot of that stuff. And for OBS, look up Nutty. Turn left. What are you talking about, Nanner? Oh, uh, the shield does kind of 
block it a little bit, but he's still obscene. Yeah, don't worry. Once you make it past the first few streams, I, I'd say it probably took me a good two or three weeks to kind of get in the groove and learn everything with the uh, with the whole setup, and then just getting used to being on camera and talking is the big thing. You'll feel like an idiot for a while when you're just sitting there talking your head off to one person or maybe zero people, but just hang in there. <laughs> All right, so we are close to leveling up again. We need to get Recky streaming. What's the hold up, Recky? You keep talking about it. Had like seven friends pop in for it and was enjoying talking to them. Webcam would freeze and the internet would drop. Yeah, you may want to like do a speed test and make sure you got enough upload for it. You may have to drop back a little bit, but um, yeah, it's just trial and error for a while. A lot of people too will set up an alt Twitch account just for testing stuff because when you get followers and such, you, when you go live, they get notified. So it's kind of hard to test things without you know, everybody dropping in, wanting to watch you, and then you're just up and down and all over the place. All right, let's see if we can beat this guy now. I got my shield equipped this time. Got another level, got another sword. Oh, you bastard. Are you fucking serious? One hit took him down half? I can't believe that. <laughs> so was it the sword recce or was it the level? Man, the music in this game is sick. Oh, I can't region in here. Maybe the region is only in the world map or safe areas, I bet. Strength's 115. Here, let's re-equip this fucking thing because we never really found out what it did. It was 85. So now that I know I can't region except in areas that are safe, I might want to be a little bit more careful. Man, music on this game is fire. God damn. Ooh, I wanna go back. Surely there's gotta be like fucking treasure hiding out. Yeah, I need to fire up Zero Ranger, too. That game's got some sick music. Fiona, do you like shmups? I'm trying to remember who I knew that really liked shmups. Ow. You love them? Look up Zero Ranger on um, Steam. It's like 10 bucks.
cell is locked but does not appear empty. So before it automatically used this key. Okay. Well, I guess we are good to go down those stairs. We checked this chest, didn't we? It was locked, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I tried, Recky. And I didn't have it equipped when it opened the boss door either. It just automatically used it, so I don't know. Oh, did we, Fiona? That sounds like me. <laughs> See, that treasure was open. Maybe, hmm, I don't know. So treasure box key was obtained. So I guess now I can open the other treasure box. Yeah, maybe that means it's already unlocked. Man, he hurt like fucking hell. God. Yeah, let's backtrack and get this chest because I'm about to level up again. Nineteen eighty nine. There's the level up. Silver bell. Hey, we got the silver bell. Oh, I wonder if that key determines which one we find. Like we find the silver bell or we find the silver harmonica. I wonder if this this is kinda like a random chance which way you end up going in the game sort of thing. If that's what that is, that's fucking brilliant. Yeah, that's the... What's it do? I can I can use it. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. But make a sound. Yeah, those flaming skulls hurt. Well, now I used up my key. Man, I'm tempted to go out. Oh, wait. So maybe um, I get to use that treasure chest key more than once. I do. Master key, so I can open any chest now. Okay. Yeah, not like Zelda keys, it seems. Break the second you use them. Dude, I'm liking this game. It's it's stupid simple. But it's fun. Um, they say Ease 2 is way better than this one. So hopefully once we get past this, we'll have another good one to play. Necklace. What's it do? So I think this is loot that I can sell off. Except for the, the ring. Hey, waifu. Fina. Who are you? Adol introduced himself and explained his reason for coming to the shrine. My name is Fina. Feels like I've been locked up down here for my entire life. I remember it was a man in a black cape who put me here. He is a terrible man who seems to control the very movements of the monsters. It's dangerous here. You should forget about me. Please, hurry. Get away from here while you can. 
Go back to Grandia, Fina. Yeah. What will you do? You're you're going to help me? You're saying I can leave this place? Adol. Thank you so very much. Adol swore to Fina that he would lead her to a safe place. Oh, she's got HP. Mask of eyes. What the fuck? I am getting so many goddamn items. The man in the black cape put that mask in here with me. Perhaps it could be of some use to you. <laughs> Stone mask with inset jade hides enemies but reveals secrets. Stone of truth found, man. Everybody thought Zelda had that fucking shit. Oh, come on, you dumb skank. Come here. We know why he locked you in here. Yeah, it seems I have to escort her ass around. Come on. And she's very dumb. She has been in this prison her entire life. Come on. Come on. Oh man, I have to escort her through here too. They're gonna make me escort her the entire goddamn way, aren't they? Even on the world map. Come on. Come, come. Gotta take you back to Waifu Castle. At least it's not very far, yeah. <laughs> ah, shit. Go back. I went the wrong way. Oops, clicked off. Fucking three cats was trying to get me to play uh, Skoden 3. You guys. I hear it's quite a bit longer. Fuck no. Are you sick of Skoden, Nanner? <laughs> so Skoden 3's intro looked fucking really good and has an awesome soundtrack. I'm all right at all. I'm just tired. That's all. Don't worry about me. Fina lapsed into unconsciousness. Adol felt her forehead and confirmed that she had a fever. Luckily, Jeva's house was very close. Adol gently lifted Fina over his shoulder and promptly carried her ass to Jeva's. She's sleeping well. The medicine should help. Add a good night's rest and she should be fine by morning. Still, no matter how you look at it, it's a very strange story. Making her run all this way. She walked the entire way. Walked. The sacred inner sanctum, sealed under the shrine for so long, becoming home to monsters, and a girl in prison there, no less. So much of this is simply so much of this simply doesn't add up. Don't worry, I'll take good care of her. She'll be as up and about soon enough. Good as new. Okay. I guess now we can go back to the dungeon. Oh, you poor blue motherfuckers in my way. Oh, here's a chest we missed too. Shield ring. Ooh. Give me that defense. Just get this on Steam, Abby. Or are you want to play something else? 
So this is an actual ring I have to equip, huh? Reduces all damage received by half. Yes, please. Yes, please. Have super graphics, you collect games. So considering the items that I'm getting, like I suddenly get this item that's half damage. Across the board, half damage. This game seems to have been made at a time that they didn't really know what they were doing, balance wise, and they kept it in the remake. I appreciate that. I think that all that was here was the fucking cells up top, wasn't it? Okay, I gotta go up, I guess, and over. So, Abby, you, you mentioned that you didn't want to emulate something because you hadn't paid for it. Is that what you said earlier? You did play the original emulator? Not really. So, I agree with you there in that I saw this available on Steam. It was 15 bucks and easy to stream. Worked out great. But a lot of those originals and stuff, I mean, emulation is eventually going to be the only way that you can play them. Oh, put the time in. Okay, I got you. It's kind of an interesting subject to me because eventually, you know, like all these speedrunners and stuff are playing all these games on original SNES hardware and stuff. That's not going to last forever. And I guess I got into it because, you know, emulation sometimes frowned on as far as like speedrunning and stuff goes. And they're, they're eventually going to have to find a way to get past that. Ow. Ow. And especially like uh, CRTs. The CRTs are gonna be the first thing to go. As it is now, a lot of them are requiring you to tear them open and replace all the caps. Yeah, but it hides all the enemies, Recky. And these guys kinda hit like a truck. Tell you what, we'll come back through here after we finish the dungeon. Okay, that guy was spooky. I wonder if those are the blue headed demons that you're talking about. Yeah, Abby, I've got a uh, SD to SNAS. I would, I would totally have a. God damn it, what do you call them? Super NT if they were fucking available. But I'm not gonna get on eBay and pay some scalper fucking a thousand dollars for one. teleports okay let's 
Silver Shield. Black Super Metroid. Yeah, I've got my copy hanging out. So does it look like I got one of the highest level shields just suddenly? 30 extra defense? Wow. Yeah, now these guys are hitting me for like one pixel. <laughs> yeah, I can head on these guys for one pixel now. Makes me wonder how fast the speed run of this is. Heal potion. So I wonder if this is one time use. We'll hang on to that. So I want that treasure now. Yeah, I remember you saying you had a bunch of games to be delivered, Abby. Try to look for an exit, yeah. I'm... Ooh, that guy still hits pretty good. I think I probably need to go outside again. Heal up a bit. I need to find another teleporter. Yeah, Abby, I can't imagine having to wait that long to get a game. Ivory Key. Hmm, doesn't say what it's used for. Makes you grind for hours. So far, it seemed pretty damn generous as far as fucking equipment and stuff goes. Giving me that shield and fucking half damage ring. So you don't complain it's too short? Yeah, it's replay value. Okay, found our way out of there. Yeah, this is the way, isn't it? That'd be kind of fucked up if they made one of these warp.
All right, I'm going to heal up. Actually, you guys, I'm probably going to call it there. We're going to find somebody to raid really quickly.